Welcome back to Chem with Go. Today we're going to take a look at positron decay. And positron is kind of interesting because it's sort of the antimatter of an electron. So positron, the symbol would just be a beta particle, basically. And we go ahead and put a plus sign on there to indicate that it's got a positive charge to it. Again, it's the same size as an electron. In fact, it is an electron except that it's the antimatter of it. So the isotope notation would just be an E with a plus one down in the lower left-hand corner and a mass number of zero. Now let's say that uh, we have a radioactive element that is undergoing uh, positron decay. How does this sort of look? Let's take a look at a, uh, an isotope of lead, okay, 210, and the atomic number for lead is 82. And let's say that this was to undergo positron decay. Well, one of the products ends up becoming the positron right here. That's a plus one. And then what would be left over? Well, since 210 is up on the mass number right there, and that's a zero, this is still 210, just like our previous problems for decay. This is an 82, and we, this is a plus one, so we need to figure out what we add to plus one, or one, to get 82. And therefore, this ends up becoming an 81. And if you look at your periodic table, it's the element TL. And that's it. For positron decay, we'll take a look at the next lecture.